Hello Internet! Today we have this 4090 from Asus that came in for repair. This is a hybrid version of the cord, which can be either good or bad, depending on how you look at it. The power connector is not melted, and there is no crack. Let's power the cord and see what it does. Looks like it pulls just over 2 amps, which looks normal to me, so let's plug it in and see if it posts. Nothing. Not to worry. The GPU Superman is here to save the day. So let's run the memory test and see what it says. There we have it. It says we have a problem with a B0, which is strange. Usually it's A1, but whatever. Let's take it apart and see what this thing looks like inside. It appears to me that Asus did a great job designing this board so it cannot be opened easily, because the connector latch is inside, not outside. Great job, Asus. You suck! In any case, the thermal pads on the memory, which came with this card, were never making contact with the cooler, because they were one millimeter, instead of two. So we're gonna throw them away. And that makes me wonder. Was it the lack of cooling that killed the memory chip, or did the GPU die detached from the board, causing miscommunication between the core and the memory chip? One way to tell would be to look at the corner compound. As I stick my tool under the compound, you can see that the separation becomes noticeable. That's basically what I'm looking at, and I do see some of it here and there. So it looks like there's a sign of delamination of the compound on all corners, which means there's no issue with the core breaking away from the board. Instead, I think the chip simply died due to lack of cooling, so let's replace the chip and see if that helps. Chip is replaced, resistances are normal, let's boot the cord and see if it posts. And unfortunately it does not. And on top of that, the error on the same chip didn't go anywhere, so it looks like the problem was under the core all along. That's what I thought at first, but in reality, what happened was, I accidentally replaced the wrong chip. It was the fourth chip that needed to be replaced not the third one. What? So let's reboot the old chip, put it in the place of the fourth one, and see if that helps. Resistances are normal, boot the cord again, and there, we have a winner. I am the one, the one. Great, looks like we got a fix after all. Nice. I'll go ahead and put the correct pads on the cord, put this Asus engineering back together and run some tests. One of such tests was the good old Need for Speed Most Wanted, a game that most of you young punks don't even know existed. In any case, thank you for watching, hopefully this was entertaining. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you later, goodbye.